everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers are unlocking the secrets of one of nature's most extraordinary structures, the spider web. A new paper authored by professors at MIT describes how a team at the school's Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering is using a combination of complex modeling and 3D printing to create artificial spider webs in an attempt to replicate their unique combination of high strength and low density. Their efforts focused not on the spider's silk itself, but on the architecture of the webs. The researchers also studied the effects the thickness of silk had on the structure of the webs. They found that webs built from silk with a uniform thickness could better withstand force applied at a single point, while webs built from silk with a non-uniform thickness were better suited to stand up to more overall pressure. Understanding how spider webs work and how to build our own structures with their properties would be a significant breakthrough in the field of bio-inspired materials. The paper is published in the journal Nature Communications. Next up, a new drug seems capable of making old brain and muscle tissue behave as though it were young again. UC Berkeley researchers have found a drug, a single molecule really, that reverses the effects of aging in the brain and muscle tissue of mice. The drug blocks the protein TGF-beta-1, a growth factor that decreases stem cell activity as it builds up. Once the effects of TGF-beta-1 were reduced, stem cell activity increased, cellular repair and maintenance improved, and aging cells in the brain and muscles began acting like more youthful cells. The authors of this study note that more work needs to be done, that resetting stem cell activity isn't as simple as regulating a single protein, and that a more comprehensive approach will need to be developed before this drug can be incorporated into safe and effective therapies for age-related conditions. But, as with so many other stories I've told you about in this series, this is a very exciting first step that gives us hope for even more exciting developments to come. And finally, the amazing metamaterial, graphene, may be the key ingredient needed to make wearable, wireless technology a part of our everyday lives. Researchers at the University of Manchester and BGT Materials Limited, a company that develops graphene technology, have used graphene ink to print a flexible radio antenna that functions well enough and is cheap enough to produce to be used in commercial applications. One obvious use for the new graphene antenna is in RFID tags, which allow products and pets to be easily identified and tracked. According to some people, RFID tags are also omens of the end times that will allow the Antichrist to brand us all with his fearful mark. So, either way, sounds like good news to me. Scientists work to recreate the strength of spider webs, a new drug revitalizes aging cells, and a printable antenna could lead to wearable wireless technology or possibly the rise of the beast from the earth. I wouldn't worry too much about that one. That's the good news. Would you take the mark of the beast, Audie?